Welcome back everybody. This is Steve, NYIBC. On the conclusion video of my quest for a TS-590 pan adapter, which we have achieved, the uh, RTL-SDR receiver is working very, very well. There it is hanging off the back of the TS-590. Interfaced with Ham Radio Deluxe and the packet cluster at the bottom. Full rig control from the TS590 or HRD as well as HDSDR. And what we're listening to here at the present time is uh, Echo 30 Foxtrot Bravo and we're on 15 meters as you can see and Everybody calling him. Let me just turn the audio up here just a little bit. And there's everybody telling those stations to go up. Okay, now he just gave somebody a 599. And there's him IDing. And everybody calling him. So what we're going to do is try to pick out where he's listening. That's the whole idea, for me anyway. One of the many tools you can use with this type of software. So this is working very, very well. You can see the S meter is about when he about an S7, S8, and on the TS590 when he answers. Yes, we know he's listening up. He's about an S7, S8 as well. So the the meter calibrates pretty good. And again, it's just a visual for the for the screen. The meter on the screen isn't really that needed, but it's it's another thing to look at. <laughs> so that works out very very well. And again, using the front end of the TS five ninety, uh, it's the receiver is really 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 come to life because it's so broad banded, connected just to the antenna, it gets its butt kicked by local uh, AM radio stations here, especially when you get on 80 meters, I, I pick up uh, 1480, which is probably about two and a half to three miles as the crow flies from my QTH, and it just swamps the front end, but going through the front end of the 590 first, uh, it, it filters all that out, and it, it's really selective now, so uh, what, what's on the screen is, is truly what you're, what the radio is hearing. So it works out very, very, very well. I, I am out of my mind happy with this. This whole station is automated. Uh, as you can see, the Ameritron uh, ALS 600 amplifier, that's all connected to the 590. And, you know, it, it changes bands when I change bands on the radio and everything else follows along. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So uh, we do have success here. Uh, the modification, again, uh, very straightforward not a difficult modification uh, if you've never been in a radio like this I've never been in a radio personally uh, this new uh, I was a little nervous doing it uh, very 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 careful uh, definitely use a temperature controlled soldering iron if you can get your hands on one uh, no more than a 15 watt iron uh, from radio you know well, Radio Shack is, is gone at this point, but a temperature controlled iron is, is best. And uh, good lighting, don't be in a hurry. And just uh, just pay attention to what you're doing. And, and it's really not a bad modification. It really, really isn't. I know K3IT stated that the trickiest part was drilling the hole in the chassis. Uh, that was the easiest part, I think. Uh, my concern was not damaging the transmit receive board and uh, installing the, the little jumper wire that goes across uh, the resistor and the cap uh, in the circuit that you're tapping. So um, those components are probably not a millimeter and a half to two millimeters in length. They're very, very, very small. And obviously too much heat will destroy them. Uh, you don't want them to fall off the board. I mean, it's just, you know, all these things are going through my mind. So we were able to get a, a hairline piece of uh, wire across that 
and it brings that signal level right up. And that kind it does have to be there as I tried uh, to connect the receiver to the radio with that piece of wire not there. And it does receive, but the signal levels are low. So all the information that K3IT has supplied is absolutely 100% valid. And uh, hats off to him, and I thank him very, very much. So this is some documentation on the mod. Again, with all the previous videos, uh, don't be afraid to go in there and 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 have at it. Uh, Clifton Laboratories, that the Z10,000B underscore U Universal uh, Opdamp that they uh, that they make. Uh, you can buy that pre-assembled or as a kit. I bought it in kit form. Uh, you can get it assembled. I think it's twelve dollars more. Um, so if you're not into playing around with little teeny components. It might be to your advantage to get it in assembled form. Uh, but either way, it works very, very well. So uh, uh, we would like to thank Clifton Laboratories as well. So that's it. I'll post this on YouTube. And it'll be video number four. And enjoy the TS590 pan adapter using an RTL SDR receiver. And the total cost of this project, just for the record, was under $100. So that's it. This is Steve, N1IBC. Thanks for listening, and 7-3.